Julia, obviously. Um, so today I'm doing another unboxing. Today I'm in a different place. I'm in my living room slash sort of open area of the house. I've got a ton of packages, look at this. I know I just did an unboxing recently, but um, I went by my P.O. box and I was kind of overwhelmed by all this new stuff. So let's get started with this first package over here. The Playboy VIP Body Lotion, 24 hour hydrating, glowing precious orchid scent. So it's from Playboy Fragrances. Apparently I'm on the Playboy PR list. I, don't, I didn't even know that. <laughs> So, so they have a range of new body lotions that are coming out. So these are coming out for the summer. Let's just check it out. So it's a body lotion. Oops, I just got some on my nose. So, okay, so this is in the Precious Orchid scent. It smells, uh, it smells nice. It smells quite strong though. Um, it's a very sort of perfumey kind of body lotion. It does smell nice though. Um, orchid, I don't really know what orchids really smell like. I've had orchids before and they didn't have much of a scent to be honest. It says it has a golden shimmer and has a orchid scent. Well, I mean, I, I gather that much from the title, but I can't really see much of a shimmer. Maybe this works if you have like tan skin, if you have fair skin like me. Um, I don't really see any shimmer effect whatsoever, <laughs> to be honest. But it also smells quite sweet, like a sweet floral fragrance. And this is 400 milliliters, so this is gonna last a while. I think I'll, I'll use this. So thank you so much for sending that through Playboy. So let's move on to the next box. This is by Lit Cosmetics, so I'm guessing that this is um, glitter stuff because they've sent me things before. It's a, I think it's a Canadian company. Anyway, I already have some of the glitters from Lit Cosmetics. In my opinion, they're some of the best glitters that are out there because they're extremely, like they come in different sizes. So if you don't like big chunky glitter, like cosmetic glitter, um, check out Lit Cosmetics because they have really small glitter as well. And oh my God, I can't even get into this. Oh. My goodness, this looks so gorgeous. Dear Glitter Angel, Angel, hello sister, long time no see. Here are the two new exclusive summer sparkle shades, Hello Sunshine and Afternoon Delight, which will be available in Sephora, Canada and USA from now until November 2014. If you would mention this, we would greatly appreciate it. The lit kits are to give away and the unpackaged sample for yourself to play, play, play. Thank you for always for your glitter support. And there's two new colors they're looking so gorgeous this one is called um afternoon delight and it is this really pretty purple shade but then it has almost like a violet and turquoise reflect so it looks like a duochrome glitter i've never seen a glitter like that like a duochrome glitter and this one is called hello sunshine and this is a solid size two. Oh yeah so the sizes are there's i think they're size one two and three I don't know, I really like the size two ones. They're just a little bit larger. And this one looks really pretty. Again, one of those reflective colors. So that's really cool. And that's really awesome that they added a few extras in here to give away. So I'll think about something like that, how to do a giveaway for those. Maybe I'm gonna do a little giveaway on Facebook or on Instagram or something like that. So thank you so much to Lit Cosmetics. And these glitters do look really gorgeous. Like I can't wait to use these. And I, I love the fact that they included something for you guys. So let's continue on in this pile of wonders. And the next one, is by Clinique. All right, so, ooh, there's first of all a lint truffle in here. So that's obviously not from Clinique, but that's nice. Let's open this right away. <laughs> I just ate breakfast, but you can always eat chocolate, right? They want to stop me from eating the chocolate. This is like, see oh God, I just chipped my nail polish. <gasps> Yummy. Oh my God, these have like gold flake on the outside. There's little gold sparkles. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. Those are so good. I'm gonna have to hide that somewhere. Now before I devour this whole thing, let's move on to the actual makeup. Alright, so in here are some, I think these are called Chubby Sticks by Clinique. Or these are the Clinique Chubby Sticks Moisturizing Lip Color Balm. Am I wrong in this and thinking that this company was like the first one that created these sort of pencil lipsticks and now all the all the other brands, sort of even like drugstore brands have kind of copied this. So yeah, these are basically like lipsticks or lip balms in a stick format, which you've obviously seen now everywhere. Let's watch this one right away. This one is A14. Does it have another name? Oh yeah, here, 20. Jumbo Jasmine. They feel glossy, 
and they're a little bit sheer. They're not completely sheer, but they do have, you know, some color payoff, but they're not like full on, full cover lipstick. So they're kind of more easier to reapply, I guess. Oh, this is one that's kind of strange. This is a chubby stick. This is a shadow tint for the eyes. So this is in a green color. So that's interesting. You can now use this stuff on your eyes. And this is in two ton teal number 13. Oh, okay. So this one is a little bit broader. Ooh, this one has like a really nice texture. It has a sort of cream to shadow finish. This one is plumped up pink. This one looks really sort of girly pink. Supreme Sorbet number 19, another one for the lips. This one, ooh, this one doesn't really have much pigmentation at all. This one's like a really, really baby pink color. I'm kind of wondering if that's even really gonna show up on the lips. This one is a chubby stick for the eyes again, the grandest gold, number 14. Oh, that's really pretty. This looks like a perfect highlight color. Zero two, lots of latte. <gasps> oh, oh dear. This one kind of came loose, you see that? I guess it kind of loosened from the base, like, you see? I guess this is supposed to stick on the base. So I'm gonna just carefully stick that back in and then kind of press it down. Hopefully that's, yeah, I think now it works again. Oh yeah, this one's kind of more of a taupe color. So I guess you can use these to blend out as well. And this, um, this latte one, lots of latte, you can probably use that for like a nice taupe eye or something like that. So that's really cool. These look like they would be really easy to use by themselves, but also maybe to use as an eyeshadow base and then layer other um, shadows on top. Four nail polishes by Clinique. I've never tried their nail polishes. Do any of you guys have any Clinique nail polishes and what do you think of them? Pajama Party, number 29, and it's a light sort of taupey pink, like a dusty taupe pink color. Chocolate on my pillow. <laughs> I got more like chocolate in my stomach right now. But this one is um, like a warm brown and it has some gold shimmer in it. That looks really pretty. Peekaboo I See You, number 27. Um, this is like a creamy peachy shade, light peach shade. Room service, number 26. And that just looks like a very light vanilla, like a vanilla milkshake kind of color. The nail lacquers are limited edition and they're supposed to be sort of like chocolate inspired, I guess that makes sense. And the chubbies from Clinique, um, those are, I don't know if they're permanent, but it says that they're, you can get them right away. This one doesn't say that it's limited edition, so I'm thinking they might be permanent. Keen to see how those live up to all the other copies out there. Thank you so, so much to Clinique for sending that through. I can't wait to play with all that stuff and eat the chocolate too. I think I have to eat another one of these chocolates. I mean, seriously, how can you send me this and just expect me to eat a single one? They'll have like gold dust on them. Let's see what this one is. Four different flavors in here. I cannot talk. Mm. So there's two champagne filled ones. One chocolate truffle filled one and one Irish cream filled one. Oh my God. First an unboxing now to being all about chocolates, but I'm sorry to do that to you guys. Now you get to just watch me eat truffles. Let's move on to the next box. It's by L'Occitane. I freaking love L'Occitane. They have the nicest bath and like shower products. They have really nice perfumes. Oh, these boxes weren't so freaking hard to open. Oh my God, this smells like lavender as soon as I open the box. So I'm pretty sure that this is lavender stuff. Yup, <laughs> lavender. You see the picture? This is how they Harvest the lavender in France. Relaxing perfumed sachets. Filled with dried lavender and beads scented with essential oils, these sachets release a relaxing fragrance, making them ideal for bedtime. 100% natural scent, which is, I totally believe that because it does smell really, really like lavender. I have like lavender outside on my balcony. I love lavender stuff. I guess you could like put this somewhere near your pillow. I just like, let's see what's in here. I'm sure there's just like bits of lavender in there. Let's see what's, oh, it's so chat. Oh, you could put this on your pillow. That's such a good idea and put it on your pillow. And then when you go to bed, just put it away and then your, your pillow will smell like lavender. And then there's also in here the relaxing massage body oil. This rich massage oil helps to relax the senses and ease away tensions. Made with sweet almond oil from Provence, it leaves skin subtle, su supple and satiny. 100% natural soothing scent. All right, so I'm just gonna pretend I'm giving myself a massage. Oh, it smells really nice. 
And then this is the um, Relaxing Pillow Mist. And this is also made with essential oils. This mist can be sprayed in your bedroom to create a calming atmosphere that promotes relaxation and well-being. 100% natural scent with proven soothing effectiveness. How on earth would they test that? Let's make my living room pillow soothing. <laughs> Shake it up. Honestly, I'm not sure if I would actually spray this on my pillow because I have a very good sense of smell. So I don't know if this would be just almost too much for me. It does smell really, uh, <laughs> like I'm just like holding this pillow here. It does smell very lavendery, but it also has sort of a slight citrusy note. It's quite potent, so I think you don't even need to, I think I put like two or three sprays on that now, so I think that's too much. I really love the packaging of these bottles. They're like those old school apothecaries, like they used to have them. Thank you so, so much to Luxitan for sending that. Um, it really does smell very much like lavender, so I can really tell that they did use, you know, natural ingredients and like essential oils and stuff. So if you like lavender stuff, go and check it out. All right, so the next package is by The Body Shop Switzerland. Wild Argan Oil Body Butter. Okay, so this is going along with that argan oil trend that's been really big in the beauty industry. That smells really lovely. It doesn't smell as perfumey as their um, fruit body butters. If you have the Shea Butter Body Butter by Body Shop, wow, my goodness, that's kind of a tongue twister. And I thought, oh, this is kind of a boring one. It's just Shea Butter. It's like become one of my favorites. You know, it's not too much. Like sometimes you just don't want like a really, really scented body lotion and it is so, so hydrating. And the reason I'm talking about that one now is because this one sort of reminds me scent wise of the Shea Butter one. Um, and yeah, it's made with argan oil. And again, it's one of those like fair trade community projects, a, a woman's community in Morocco. And that's, that's really cool. So you're supporting like a woman's um, initiative there. It smells really nice. It smells not too perfumey. It smells quite natural. It feels very, very moisturizing. It feels similarly moisturizing as the Shea Better one. I'm definitely gonna be digging into this one. <laughs> and then the next thing that's in here is the Wild Argan Oil Rough Scrub. And this has argan shell in it. So it's with argan shell exfoliants and community fair trade argan oil from Morocco. Ooh, it's kind of like a, you can see how it's like jiggling. It's kind of a putty. I guess this is meant to be used in the shower. Oh, this feels really nice. This one looks like it could work because I can definitely feel that knobbly <laughs> sort of the grains of the, of, the, of the nut. It smells really nice. It smells very nutty, creamy, like a nutmeg kind of scent. Really like this. Ooh, I'm really excited to try that out. Thank you so, so much to The Body Shop. This looks really excellent. I can't wait to try both of those products out. All right, so we are on to the last package of the day. <laughs> this has gone by a lot quicker than I thought it would. Let's see what's in here. So there's kind of a box within a box. I love these kind of packages where there's like a little sort of decorative box because I end up reusing the box for other stuff. Ooh, so it's from L'Oreal Paris. This is the Age Perfect Oil Richesse. So the Oil Richesse, um, it's some kind of a skincare range. So let's see in here. There's the box, looks quite nice. There's some oil bubble things. You know those like bath oil bubbles? Oh my God, they used to make these in the 80s. I had no idea that they are still making these anymore, to be honest. More lavender, I freaking love lavender. You know what? I am gonna use this for cooking because I've been looking for dried lavender and here is a perfect sachet of it and you can use this for cooking. Face oil, luxurieuses Gesichtsöl. So this has, um, like essential oils in it as well. And I'm thinking it might be also lavender scented because that sachet of lavender, I guess. It has eight um, essential oils, lavender, rosemary, geranium, orange, and rose. I guess this is something you'd put on either at nighttime or maybe underneath your makeup. Ooh, I like the packaging. It looks very, very sleek, very sort of higher end. Although I think L'Oreal, like the prices are like almost high end, at least in drugstores here, it's quite expensive. So for that price range, I think it's fine that their packaging is a little bit more luxurious. Mmm, that oil smells really nice. It does, it smells quite different than the one by L'Occitane. It's kind of interesting to have them side by side and compare. Right away, the oil has kind of absorbed into my hand. So this looks really interesting. It looks like something that you could put on your on your face and then just let it sink in. And then there's also another product in here. It's the Age Perfect um, 
Oil Richesse Luxurious Oil Cream. And this also has the essential oils and jasmine, it says. And this is made for dry skin and it has a non-oily texture. Gimme! <laughs> so I like the packaging. It's very sort of high-end looking. Um, age perfect. It's it, it again has that sort of essential oil smell. So it kind of smells very herbally. The jasmine, I can definitely smell it also. It has that white jasmine scent. It feels really rich. It does feel really nice, like this on my hand. The only thing is that I like, I like perfumey stuff. For face creams, I don't really like perfumey stuff as much. I sometimes react badly to it, so uh, that's the only kind of negative thing I can think of right now. It feels very emollient. Um, I'll definitely try it out. If you have like really dry skin, you could do the oil and then put the cream on top. Um, be careful if you do have breakouts that you're not putting too much stuff on your face because sometimes that can actually lead to breakout if you're kind of over moisturizing your face. So thank you so, so much to um, L'Oreal and I love the whole packaging. I love the whole concept of this little box and, and the essential oils and this lavender. This was a really nice PR send out. Thank you so, so much. Mm, thank you, Clinique. Mm. This is the one flavor I haven't tried. Mm. This is my favorite, I think. Get these chocolates. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching my latest unboxing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And you can also see my unboxing playlist, what's in my mailbox playlist. I will link it um, right now here if you wanna see more of them. And um, make sure you're subscribed to this channel so that you can watch me eat more chocolates on camera. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.